So if you've decided that you really want to take your health, fitness, or wellness business up to a next level this year, you really want the effort that you're going to put in to be effective. So in this video, I'm going to give you the four steps that can be most effective to level up your business this year. Let's jump in. T.C. Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. Step number one is to create some type of free content every single week. You really want to put yourself out there to introduce yourself to more people. Think about if someone comes into your office or they meet you and they get to know you. It increases the odds that they want to work with you greatly. So that's the goal when you are creating content. You're giving the opportunity for more people to know, like, and trust you. People tend to put their money towards people they know, like, and trust. So if you're creating this free content on a weekly basis and people can really dig in and hear from you and get to know what your viewpoints are, that really levels up their ability to know, like, and trust you. I've been creating content for 20 years and nothing has helped my business as much as when I decided to create a YouTube channel for consumers and I was going to make a video every single week, no matter what. I was just going to be consistent. And just the act of creating that content consistently has helped me a lot. It helps me want to learn more. All right, I already talked about all this stuff. What else can I talk about? I need to learn some more things. It pushed me to research and learn more things and to get better at what I do. And now that that consumer channel has over 50,000 subscribers and really reaches a lot of people on a daily basis, it's taken my business to a level that I didn't know that I was going to be able to get to. And it allows me to do a lot of stuff that I didn't know that I was going to be able to do. So having the ability to introduce yourself to a wide variety of people can do a lot of beneficial things for your business. Even when that channel only had five or 10,000 subscribers, it was still changing my business in a really huge way. 10,000, even 50,000 subscribers on YouTube is kind of small when you look at some of the big people on YouTube, but when you're reaching that type of people, if you set it up the correct way, it can really change your business in a huge way. I've been getting some health professionals asking me how I did that lately. If that's something that you want to learn, if you want to learn how I built up that YouTube channel, as a health professional. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can opt in to say, hey, I'd like to learn that. If I hear from enough people, I'll make a course that really digs into the details of the steps that I took step by step and help you understand how I built that channel to a level that really changed my business. But the real point is whether you're going to write a blog or make videos or do a podcast, whatever it is, you want to do that on a weekly basis and be consistent. Put yourself out there, allow that audience to grow. It will take some time, but when you allow that audience to grow, it can really magnify all the good stuff that's coming into your business. Step number two is to use bioindividuality with your clients. If you're a health, fitness, or a wellness professional, you should really be looking at your client's physiology to understand which steps are going to be right for them. If, if you're working off of symptoms or, oh, my client is a male and he weighs this much, so these are the steps I should take, you're missing out on a lot of results that you could be helping your clients create and a lot of improvements to their health that are going to get them to talk about you a whole lot. So we like health professionals to understand how to look at your client's body chemistry so that you can understand the right diet or supplements that are going to work with their body instead of just working at a symptom. The problem is that every symptom that's out there can have three or four different underlying causes that are creating it. So if you're using remedies that that go along with a symptom, you have about a 20% chance of helping that client improve their situation. And in a lot of these scenarios, if you use the wrong thing, you're going to make the client worse. The hint is that you really don't want to make the client worse. They're coming to you for help. They're paying you for help. So when you can look at a client's chemistry and understand the right steps for them, not what all the cool kids are doing right now, the steps that are actually going to help that client you can really take the results that you're seeing with a client to the next level. 
So if you want to learn how to look at your client's body chemistry, my book, Health Pro Results, walks you through how to figure out which aspects of digestion might not be working for them and steps they can take to improve that, as well as looking at other imbalances that can create a wide variety of health issues. And the book is available on Amazon, but I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can get the whole thing totally for free. And that'll just walk you through learning how to use that process and really increase the results that you're seeing with your clients. Step number three is to hold the viewpoint of seeing 15% better results with every client that you have. If you can just hold in your mind, I want them to see at least 15% better results than they're already seeing. It will kind of push you to figure out more ways that you can help them. It makes you think, what else could they be doing to improve the scenario that they're seeing? Because when they can improve just a little bit more, it really changes their perspective and their viewpoint of what they're experiencing. And when they're really excited about the improvements they're creating, they're going to talk about that. And then their friends are going to want to come and play with you as well. Step number four is to sell something beyond your services. When you're selling your services, you're trading your time for money. You really want to have other things going on that can multiply your time. When someone can buy a product from you, you generate income without having to spend all that time with that individual. That multiplies your time and frees you up to do other things. If you can create other incomes, especially when those incomes start to equal what you're making from working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, it really frees up your ability to spend more time with the clients that you're working with. You don't have to take on as many clients. You can charge clients more. And when you charge clients more, it really helps them see better results because it makes you work harder. Wow, I've charged them a lot of money. I should really do something else to help them see better results. What else can I do? All of these steps can really take your business to a new level because the clients are going to see better results because you're going to be able to focus on them a little bit better. You also want to set yourself up so that you don't always have to work with clients. Maybe you want to take a few months off at a time and travel or maybe you have some other project or some other thing that you want to do with your time. If you can create other incomes, then it would allow you to do that. So I like to see health professionals do things like create courses that they can sell. Maybe they have other products that they've created or even other affiliate products that they're using to create these other incomes to free up more time for themselves. When my YouTube channel exploded, I got to the point to where I couldn't even take on new clients. I was just too busy. And because I had some of these things already in place, and now I don't need to take on new clients because I've created enough things that income is coming in that it allows me to spend that time on bigger projects that I want to work on. I don't have to trade my time for dollars from individuals because I can do it on a bigger scope. So creating something like a course, it really can take a lot of work. If you're going to write a book, that can take a lot of work. But if you can do that work, it can pay you from years to come. And if creating a course is maybe a little bit too intimidating for you, we have a BioI membership for health professionals where we've created courses for our members and we allow them to sell those courses to their clients and they keep all the money. We don't take any percentage of the money that they make when they sell those courses. So if you want something that's already done for you, we'll put a link in the description below for more information about our BioI membership for health professionals. And you can see how we've created those courses for you that you can sell to your clients and your followers and create other sources of income without having to do all that work. But the main point is to find something that resonates with you, something else that you can sell to create other income streams to reduce your need to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with individuals. So those are the four steps that I see make the biggest difference in health professionals' businesses. There are other steps out there. Those are just the ones that I seem to see have the most amount of traction. So see which one works best for you and let us know how it goes.